Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.3.1 where I am continuing my adventures in adding airplanes to Kerbal Space Program and here we have a very low poly body for the F-16 and I'll add some more detail to it later on but for now it is serviceable. Uh, the only part I made here was the body. Uh, you can see B9 procedural wings. I tried to make wings for the Super Guppy which I presented in the previous video and they did not work so well. So I'm, I still have to work on how wings are made. I'm not sure. Uh, they just didn't get as much lift as the B9 procedural wings, and those don't get as much lift as the real thing. So that's not acceptable at all. Uh, but yeah, but these should work fine because the F-16's wings are sort of razor thin and uh, more like the kind of wings that B9 procedural wings and FAR like. Um, and yeah, the texture looks good. I did some color matching. Uh, if you don't know about B9 procedure wings, you press J when you're hovering over them and then you can color them and it's hue, saturation, and brightness. So if you made the body a certain color in Photoshop, then you can get the hue, saturation, and brightness and match the color exactly. So that's really, really handy. Now, a nice thing about the F-16 is that we already have the engine. If you're using advanced jet engines for realism overhaul, the correct engine for the F-16 is really already available. You don't have to do any configuring. So the F-100 PW229 turbofan. I will link the body of this in the video description in its current um, state. It's not really, really finished. I mean, it's serviceable. Uh, the air intake works. That's built in. So you don't have to add another intake. It's got the intake. And uh, yeah, uh, the note on the back is a little bit off. I have to fix that. It's a little bit high because it's actually at the zero, zero point for the model. And so when attaching this, uh, well, you're going to have to do some tweaking anyway because it's got this gray area, but that gray area is sort of covered by the model as well. So this has to be slid down just a bit and then in until, well, actually a little bit further out than that and down right there. Okay. And otherwise we've got some uh, nifty business from BD Armory, of course, Sidewinder missiles, AMRAMs, and uh, these tanks are just procedural tanks, procedural parts using the space plane texture and uh, they're pretty heavy but the f-16 really doesn't have that much fuel now the version i'm flying i don't have a, a body fuel tank but the version i will link in the video description will have a body fuel tank that uh, adds the correct amount of fuel for the f-16 it carries a certain internal fuel load and i calculate it all out and so it will have that proper fuel load but right now the internal fuel load is a little bit light so i've decided to carry the external tanks it's not horrible. I mean, even with the with the external tanks. Oh, that doesn't seem right. I need to enable crossfeed, huh? There we go. With the external tanks, it's got 31 minutes in those and then 11 minutes internal. It should have like half an hour internal. Uh, the dry mass of the F-16 is correct. The dimensions are correct. And so, yeah, without further ado. Oh, uh, there is one catch. <laughs> um, for some reason, and I don't know why, and if somebody else knows why, please tell me. I named the part F-16 body, but when it comes up here, it says Mark 1 cockpit. And that's because I used the Mark 1 cockpit for the IVA. And, but I only told it to make the Mark 1 cockpit the IVA view. Why it's called Mark 1 cockpit, I don't know. Something must like read the fact that the Mark 1 cockpit is being used and then rename the part Mark 1 cockpit for some reason? I don't know why. I don't know why that is happening. So if somebody knows what's going on there. I, I'm i using this landing gear for the first time on one of these. Uh, in previous versions, these weren't um, quite so stable. Let me put it that way. Adjustable landing gear. But in this version, adjustable landing gear seems to be working better. And so I've decided to employ it here. So without further ado, let's bring it outside. So again, this is the shuttle landing facility that comes as part of real KSC, which requires Kerbal constructs. 
Now, while I said that the wheels are stable, the short wheelbase of the F-16 means that it's going to tend to want to go from side to side, and it's tough to control that. Nose wheel steering, it, uh, maybe I should tune it down. It's really, really sensitive. I guess I can't tune it down. Maybe I should use one of these. Um, maybe I should lock these and just use the nose wheel. We'll see. Uh, it's complicated. Anyway, uh, we certainly don't need full power to take off. And again, I'm using atmospheric autopilot. The F-16 has a thrust weight ratio greater than one. So, fairly vigorous. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 no. Uh, uh, okay, you can see our problem. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have locked that steering. That's not good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's not kill Jeb. Let's try that again. Okay, I'll have to do a little bit more rudder work as well. Um, let, let's try locking these again, but... I don't know. Okay. And let's get some flaps too. Uh, that's full rudder right there. Uh, uh, okay, okay, we're we're good. We should be able to take off, take off, take off, take off, take off. It's not taking off. Uh, that's a little bit fast for its takeoff. But then again, we are carrying the external tanks. Okay, we are off. Now, one thing I haven't learned is how exactly to fire the missiles individually. Maybe I just have to attach them individually, but when I action group them, um, well, they want to fire in pairs because they are in symmetry. So I'll need to work on that. By the way, these little strakes down here are also B9 procedural wings. They might be tilted a little bit far out. I think they should be tilted a little bit further in. It is extremely nimble, but if I do pull a lot of G-forces, it will rip off the wings. <laughs> far is being attentive. And because we have the external tanks, the thrust weight ratio is actually a little bit lower than one right now. There's also drag to be considered. Okay, well, uh, let's see about shooting things. I don't use BD Armory much, so it's sort of a treat, I guess. Now, the AMRAMs actually drop before firing, so this would not be a good way to fire them. The shininess on the body might be a little bit overdone, but I couldn't, uh... This is about as low as that goes, if you're going to use Textures Unlimited. I use these air brakes. I think they might be from B9 uh, Aerospace. I forget. Uh, let's see... No, they're stock extensions, actually. Right now we are well past the speed of sound. I guess we should go a little bit higher, maintain a little fight, flight and see how fast it goes. But that's limited by this engine. So it won't go that fast. There's lots of room to add Insignia via decals. I probably won't add them directly to the texture because first of all there are a lot of different insignia and so it's best to just use decals for that. Though there are little fiddly bits, there, there are certain bits on the nose that I need to add. Haven't added the cannon yet. Though 
sort of wondering how to configure that for B9 Aerospace if possible. I'll have to look into that. Okay, well, level flight time. Let's see how fast it goes. Well, if I really want to go fast, I should probably discard the tanks out here. Okay, it looks like it's, uh, well, we'll wait until we stop accelerating first. Because we don't have a whole lot of internal fuel right now. Uh, well, the cockpit view is just the Mark 1 cockpit, so it doesn't look like it's supposed to look like, obviously. Uh, I mean, it's doable. Certainly handy to have this cockpit. Of course, this cockpit has been modified by raster prop monitor, and I think maybe ASET. I think uh, ASET props as well. So it's a nice cockpit because of that. And I don't think I can very easily create something better right now. Though there's probably some mod that has a more F-16 like cockpit available. Like AOA or something. Maybe I'll have to take a look. I just went with Mark 1 because I knew it was okay. Uh, maybe there's another option with another mod. Well our acceleration is not as brisk now. FAR says we're at Mach 1.56. I wonder how safe it is to drop these. I don't know. Well, that's safe enough. And suddenly our acceleration is going much faster. Of course, FAR is going to rip those apart. And now the engine is also starting to heat up. And we're not going to get too much further than this. We might, if we w were really, really patient and had the right altitude and weren't going up at all, break Mach 2. If we go down, I'm pretty sure we can break Mach 2. I guess we'll go for that. And then we'll head back towards the Cape for an attempted landing. I have not tried to land this yet. No, even on the descent, it doesn't look like it's... It looks like it's going to have trouble reaching Mach 2. I'm going to slow down, because turning at that speed will probably rip the wings apart if I'm not careful. And I'm rarely careful. You can see the Gs we're pulling by turning like this. The one time the wings ripped off because of G-forces, I think I was at like 11 Gs and lower than we are right now. So just for reference. Hmm, right now it's not consuming electric charge. Uh, on the model that I link in the video description I'll add electric charge depletion to it, but not very not very fast. I think I'll uh, allow it to have more than four hours of power. Okay, well, this would be a good time to test out the brakes. Yeah, they're pretty good. The difference in glow on the body versus the wings mean that they look like different colors now. So that's down to textures unlimited. They'll look the same in the VAB, but not out here necessarily. If you don't have Textures Unlimited, you will not have that color gap. But again, it's a low poly model. You can see some of the seams there. I may improve upon that, but certainly that'll be nice for people wanting to use it on a trimmer in a trimmer situation. Okay, we're going nice and slow thanks to the brakes. Run the gear down. Not a bad facsimile for how the landing gear deploys on the F-16. We 
You can take in the view from the cockpit. The engines are idle. They should still be making sound, but very quiet in here. Somewhat disconcerting because of that. Oh, that's not good. Well, let's not rush things. Oh, that's rushing things. Ow, ow, ow. I did bad things. I did bad things. Oh, I screwed up. I think I must have busted like everything except for the body, maybe. Yeah, I need more landing practice in this, obviously, especially if I'm gonna suddenly decide to take it in in cockpit view. I <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that. I was, I was doing pretty well in the external view, but I'm not used to landing in Kerbal in the cockpit view either. Though it wasn't a bad view, I just wasn't doing a good job. Anyway, well, there you have it. Hopefully you can handle the F-16 better than I can. I'll link the body in the video description and maybe you can make your own. Uh, though, again, uh, could do with more details and I'll work on that later on. Though, I'm more of a quantity versus quality type. <laughs> I, I'll probably get enamored with the idea of doing some other plane pretty soon, so we'll see. Anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.